Hi everyone, in this video, I'm going to show you the micro portable painter palette. This is made by Steve Patton, the same guy that made the portable painter palette a few years ago. This is my main palette when I go outdoors for sketching because it can be deployed easily with water trays attached to the side. The water trays are incredibly useful, which is why this is one of my favorite palettes. So, Last year, in 2019, he came out with this smaller design called the Micro Portable Painter. So I have all these items beside just to show you guys the size. This is an A5 size sketchbook. This is about the size of two 15ml watercolor tubes. So this is really small. This was launched as a crowdfunding project on Indiegogo last year and it was successfully funded. And it should be made available for sale to the public very soon. The price for one of these based on the Indiegogo page is around US $20. There's a ledger. So let's open this up. So this cover, it's detachable. And we have this small pallet inside. And this looks like a water tray. There are extensions on both sides of the pallet. So you can use this to connect to the water tray just by sliding this in. On the other side of the pallet, you can attach the cover by sliding it as well. So this is how it looks. It's very easy to set up, very easy to deploy. On the back here, there is a handle that you can pull out you can hold a pallet by holding the handle. The handle is a bit small though, so I'm not sure how comfortable it is for holding the pallet for long periods of time. Personally, for me, I will be holding the pallet like this, holding the pallet on the sides with my thumb and index finger, which I feel is more comfortable, but the handle beneath, it's there if you need it. You can use this as a water tray or as a mixing surface. There are three small wells inside. So this tray can be attached to the pallet on this side or you can attach this part here to this side. Depending on whether you are left-handed or right-handed, you can attach it any way you like. The six half pens included are stuck to the back with this adhesive thing. So they will not fall out. And these are standard size half pens, so you can replace them with your own in the future. You can also fit a full pen in like this. Just make sure you stick something to the back so that it doesn't fall out. Steve Patton also sent me this, so I guess he would be selling these half and full pens as well. Oh, they also come with adhesive um, tape. This is how the palette looks with the pens taken out. So you can have different configurations. So you can have maybe one full pen and four half pens or two full pens and two half pens. On the lid, there are two wells and on this cover, there are two wells, all are sloping. This is very easy to keep. There's this cutout here to fit this lid and this cutout here to fit this cover. By the way, Steve Payton sent me five pallets, so I'll be keeping one and giving away the other four, including the empty pens he has sent over. So this giveaway will be open to all. Just check out the giveaway contest details in the video description below. So I'm going to take out the pens here and use my own colors. By the way, if you want to, you can actually use this palette by itself like this. This is even more compact compared to having the tray and the cover. So, yep. Okay, so I'm going to put this yellow here, a full pen yellow, a full pen blue. I use a lot of blue, so if I were to actually um, find colors to put inside, I would definitely use a full pen of blue. That's yellow ochre, and this is one red. A small palette like this is more suitable for use on smaller pieces of paper 
or with smaller sketchbooks. This is an A6 sketchbook. This is A5. So let me paint on this smaller sketchbook. Let me just pour some water into the water tray. This water tray is quite deep, which is great because when I'm outdoors painting, I would move my palette around like this. I don't want the water to spill out. And now I am going to paint this sketch very quickly to get a sense of how the palette feels. And since I have a table here, I'm just going to set my palette on the table. And the bottom of the water tray and the palette is actually flushed at the same level. So when you put this on the table, it's not going to shake. One really cool thing about this palette is because the way it is designed, you can actually clip it to a sketchbook. So for example, you can clip it here. I'm going to place the lid there at the top right corner and clip it down with a big clip. So this is now secured and you can paint with the palette on the side. Or if you want to, you can also put it like this and once again clip it down. So this is very convenient. And this is not very heavy, so you can definitely hold a sketchbook together with the palette and paint without your hand feeling tired. So um, that's one thing I really like about this uh, palette. You can clip it to a sketchbook. This brush that I'm using, this is the Da Vinci Cassano watercolor brush. It uses synthetic bristles. And this sketchbook is made by Wilfred. I'll put the links to where you can find this sketchbook online in case you are interested to get one for yourself. It's easier to pick up paint when you are using a full palette because there's more contact surface. Alright, let me wash my brush. Now if you are using a water brush, then you probably can use this as a mixing tray rather than use it to fill water. So see this pen that is moving around? You definitely need something to stick it to the base, otherwise it's going to move around. Oh, this yellow, it looks kind of opaque. It will take some time for the mixing surface here to sort of break in. But this is not too bad, at least the paint, it collects into a single pool. It doesn't beat out like individual bits like this. So this is good. The mixing wells are deep enough for you to mix a large mixture. So I guess if you want to, you can, you are able to paint on larger pieces of paper or on larger sketchbooks. All right, done. Now, if I know I have a table to work on, I will definitely bring an extra tray so that I can put water. So I'll be using the smaller tray to wash my brush and then the bigger tray to get clean water. I've just washed my palette and there are some stains which are very difficult to remove. So this plastic, it stains. I'm not sure what is that red, but it's highly staining and at the bottom of the water tray as well. This surface, by the way, it's matte surface and here it's reflective and glossy. This is a nice palette. It's compact, lightweight, easy to bring around and very easy to set up. The limitation is, well, it doesn't hold a lot of paint. So this is not going to be suitable for long overseas sketching trips. And if you do bring this for your sketching trips, I do recommend you bring extra tubes so that you can fill up the pens at night. Alright, if you guys have any questions about this palette, let me know in the comment section below. You can find more information on the Portable Painter Palette website. See you guys in the next video. Bye!